So another question that I have gotten tons of emails about is the focusing problem with the center focusing square using wide apertures on the Canon 70D. There are a lot of people reporting that the camera cannot focus when shooting very, very wide apertures using that center focusing square. Now this is kind of particular for me because I've had the camera since it first came out in September of last year. I never noticed any problems at all. Uh, I shoot with a lot of L glass 2.8, not having any problems with those lenses. The sports test, it's one of the highest rated focusing cameras I've ever used. It's a very, very good camera. But when I went in, I'm on the road right now, when I went and checked a uh, 50 millimeter 1.4 on the center focusing square in my hotel room on a lamp, I'll show you the picture here, it did seem to be a little bit out of focus. Now there were other times I would focus in other points in the room, it seemed okay. So it was kind of hit and miss. I'm not saying all cameras have this problem. I'm not saying all Canon 70s have this problem. I'm not saying that. I'm saying there did seem to be something off. Now, a lot of people are saying the Canon 70D is pure junk because of this one little problem with the center focusing square. And the truth of the matter is, I personally would never shoot wide open at 1.4 on a center focusing square and recompose. John, you're a pro. What are your thoughts on that? Why, why would uh, somebody never want to do that? Well, the thing is, is every lens has a curve to it. The, if you're focusing and recomposing off the center focus uh, point, the thing is when you go to recompose it, that now you're shooting off a different part of the curve of that lens. That's exactly right. And it's just going to distort out. And so now you're going to be back or back focusing or a little maybe even forward focusing depends on how your camera is. Um, and then also that movement of moving it which way you, you can move it either this way or this way. Just you think you got it straight, but doesn't mean you do. That's right. And it'll just blow it right out of focus. So what Sean's saying is that if you have a kit lens on a 70D, maybe you're shooting at let's say 5.6 or 5.0 and you get a focus lock on the center and you recompose, it'll probably still be in focus because you have a deeper depth of field. At 1.4, and you get that focus lock and you're talking about maybe something, the thickness of a sheet of paper, and you recompose, you're gonna pull your focus plane right out of off the subject, it's gonna be blurry. So especially if you guys are recomposing, uh, it wouldn't work anyway. And so the question would be, well, how do you focus with the 7D if the center focusing point has a problem? I went into the micro adjustment in the menu, uh, added plus two, plus three, seemed to correct it, but I did it for that lens only. I didn't do it for the whole camera because my other lenses seem to be working fine on it. Now, for those of you who have 7Ds that are, they feel like they're not focusing right, definitely take it up with whoever you bought the camera with, make some noise to Canon. A lot of people are reporting that they sent them into Canon and Canon isn't doing anything about them. Let me tell you how to focus correctly if you have one of these cameras. There's lots of different ways to do it. If I'm shooting at 1.2 or 1.4 on a, on a model, always in live view. I can use face detection if I want to. I prefer to actually zoom in on their eyes. It's, I call it manual zoom focusing. Get a focus lock, take the picture. That is my preferred method over using the viewfinder when shooting very, very wide apertures. It's probably why I never even noticed it. Um, another side note is that I have a Tamron 18 to 270 that I put on the Canon 70D. It doesn't work at all. I mean, maybe nine out of 10 shots are out of focus. So there is a possibility it may be lens related too. Uh, I don't see it on the other lenses. I don't know what's going on, but if enough people keep on making noise, I think Canon will do something about it, maybe with the firmware update or whatnot. But I know there's a lot of people out there that are very happy with their Canon 70Ds. And for those of you who have a, what you were calling a lemon, I can empathize with you. That's no fun to spend that much money on a camera that's not focusing correctly. Um, I really feel there will be an answer. And I do empathize with you guys because it seems that enough people are reporting this. This is a manufacturing problem within the camera. That said, I still don't think it's a lemon. I think it's a it's my second camera in my camera bag. I love it. Back in uh, when the 7D came out, that's right. they had the exact same thing. Everybody said it wasn't focusing. <laughs> it was it was always back focusing or forward focusing. Yeah, I never had a problem. You didn't? Yeah, you have a 7D, right? right? I have two of them, and I never really had a problem with focusing. I guess it's probably a few cameras or related with a few lenses, but I know there's enough people reporting it. That's it's a common thing, and uh, Canon's pretty good about. You know, I can't speak for them, but they're usually pretty good about 
fixing their mistakes. So I'm sure we'll see something. In any event, I hope that answers the question about the Canon 70D's central focusing square issue. Try the live view uh, to manually zoom in and focus if you're using a wide aperture. Aperture is at 2.8 or over. I don't think anybody's reporting any problems with that. Uh, just know that through the viewfinder, center focusing square at 1.4 or 1.2, it's really only going to be useful if you are composing dead center or something like that. We wouldn't do it. In any event, thank you guys for watching and we'll see you next time. If you found this video helpful, you may be interested in my crash course on the Canon 70D. I'll teach you how to shoot like a pro in no time. And you can order it from the following link.